as camp director this year of our annual camp out, just like to welcome you. Uh, isn't this a great uh, storytelling tent we have created here? Yeah. Yeah. Now, in a minute, I know tre Troop 358 has uh, so something they want to do for us, something special. We're all in for a treat, but we want to recognize some folks before we get that started. First of all, our campfire right here, provided by Ms. Lane's troop, Troop 17. Can we give them a round of applause? Yeah. Yeah. Troop 17 supporters over here, I hear it, I like it, I like it. Uh, let's talk about some things. Uh, today in our storytelling tent, now we're going to ask everybody to do some things. Phoebe here in Troop 358, what are some things we might ask our friends to do? Sound effects. Oh, make sound effects. Now, do they need to get out of their seats to make sound effects? No. 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 No one needs to get out of your seats to make any sound effects. You can stay right where you are and enjoy it. Now, let's talk about some other things that we cannot do. First of all, we cannot let those electronic devices in our pockets go off. So you want to take yours out right now. Make sure it's switched to the off position, the silent position, so we don't uh, make any noise. Something else we, we can't do now, I just got to tell you that due to Buzz Lane's actions earlier in the mess hall, Lights Out tonight has to be at 8.30, everybody. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But when you, you know, one bad apple spoils a whole bunch. And when you make a mess in the mess hall, somebody's got to pay up. So tonight it's 8.30, Lights Out for everybody. We want to make sure we, uh, we thank the sponsors of our annual camp out. That would be the Arts of Arts Council. Be Unlimited, the A&P Commission, and our center stage contributors. We sure do appreciate those folks. Hey, now, classes are still available for spring registration. Forms are right here. They're the yellow pieces of paper. You can pick them up on your way out. And also on this table right here um, is, a, is a bucket, and we sure would appreciate it if you got a few extra dollars you want to throw in there and help us out here. You know, another thing you can do to help us out is volunteer. we got some volunteer sign-up sheets over in the other room we call Studio A. And I do have to let you know that after this storytelling event that Troop 358 is uh, going to entertain us with, you can meet them and slap them a high five over in Studio A after uh, the performance. One more thing I want to say. Now, did you know that the history of storytelling goes back to telling stories around the campfire just like this one here? And I hope... If my sources are right, they tell me that Troop 358 is going to do some storytelling for us here this afternoon. So let's get it started with a camp favorite. Uh, let's do maybe a round of rock, paper, scissors. Austin, Sarah, you're up. Let's do it. Come on, Sarah. You got this. Come on, Sarah. Come on, you got Sarah. You got this, Sarah. Yes! Yes, Sarah. Come on, you got this. Thousands of years ago, when I was just a boy, there was a terrible time of darkness in the land of England. There was a terrible time of darkness in the land of England. Oh, okay. Our good king had died and left no son, no heir to take over the throne. And soon, thieves and villains conquered the land and ruled the people by force and greed. Here is the child you have requested. Groot? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all we have. But it's adorable! It works! From the boy, I became a man. And soon learned that I was blessed. At times, I felt cursed with the power of magic. Oh. Here's the sword, as you requested. 
a baby, a sword, Excalibur. But England needs a king. The future of our homeland lies with this child. I give Arthur to your keeping. But do not forget that I, Merlin the Magician, am with him every minute of his life. And soon the day will come that I will reappear and take him from your arms. And you will belong to no man or woman. You will belong to the earth, wind, fire, and rain. You will belong to England. But how will we know when the day has come? Here shall be a sign. Whosoever pulls this sword from this stone shall be the rightful king of England. I am Merlin the Magician. I've seen all there is to see of the heaven and the earth. I know the past. I know the future. I know triumph and defeat. This is my story. Fall. It is 12 years later now. It is a lovely day in May. The birds sing. The fields sparkle with dew. Two hopeful lads prepare to become men. Out, Arthur, that's not fair. This one is Kai. Take this, and this, and this. Kai is almost a full-grown man. Hard to believe, isn't it? Aha, I'm winning, you little toad. Toad? Who are you calling a toad? This one is Arthur. He holds our future in his hands. Take this, and this, and this. It is time for his education. Ouch, Arthur, that's no fair at all. You hit me with that stick. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. How else can I win? Win? You're not supposed to win. I am. Well, I saw me good practice for you. You know, put up a good fight. It's this stupid helmet. Granted, how could a person possibly learn to joust with a metal pot on his head? Here, let me try. I think you just need to adjust the straps in the back and... On guard! Oh, I don't care. I just won't wear one, that's all. But Kai, all the knights of the tournament will have helmets on. Oh, I don't care. Who cares about the dumb old tournament anyway? If I were you, I'd care very much. I think it would be grand to sit high on a fine horse. Mine should be black. Black as coal. I'd have black shiny armor too. So shiny it would hurt your eyes to look out in the sun. I'd have a real dragon on my shield. For my sword, let's eat the jewels. Rubies, I think. Yes, red rubies would be quite fine. Ha, look at you going on. I'm the eldest, so I shall be the knight. And you can only be my squire and ride a donkey alongside me. I know. I know I'm just a squire. But I'll make the best of it. I'll be the best squire ever. Rubies, indeed. Come on, now let's try again. Ugh. Confound it all. It's this sword. It's a terrible sword. I'd be better off with a stick like you. Well, I think it's a beautiful sword. And Father says it was made by a hermit in the woods, and he... Oh, go on. Show us how much you know. Made by a hermit in the woods. Who wants a sword made by a hermit? I've never heard anything so <coughs> stupid. Well, Father says it's made from iron and the finest steel. And worked on a stone made red hot from the fire. Well, here's your precious sword, then. I don't care, Hank, for it. I'm a prefer my bow and arrow. I'll practice that a bit. Then I'm going for a swim in the moat, and then I shall sleep under the elm, and I shall sleep and sleep and sleep until supper time. That's what I'll do. Can I come along? No, I think I'll just stay here. It's rather hot, don't you think? A swim would do us good. Is it really all right for me to play with the sword? You can do what you like with the blasted thing. Ta-da! Your great deeds, your showless valor, your gallant bravery, and for saving the damsel in distress and killing the great big fire breathing dragon. No, no, for killing two great big fire breathing dragons. And for saving my life, and saving my wife's life, and saving my daughter's life, and uh, pretty much everyone's life. I now most majestically, most mysteriously, and most miraculously proclaim you to be. a knight. Black knight with a red dragon on the shield. A black knight with a red dragon on the shield and a sword with a sheath made of rubies. Da 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 da! Oh. <laughs> Just look at him. The most important man in England. 
Heaven save us. Oh, who are you? I didn't hear you. <coughs> what are you doing here? Oh, great knight, great black knight. My humble name is Merlin. I chose my footsteps carefully so not to disturb your knightly, your gallant, whatever it was you were doing. Good sir knight. Uh, but I'm not a knight. Surely you jest, sir. No, really, I'm not. I'm just a boy. You mock me, sir. No, seriously, I was just pretending. <laughs> pretending? How can a boy like you growing up on the far side of Forest Savage, how could you possibly have any idea what it is to be a knight? Have you ever seen a knight? Well, no. Then how do you know what one looks like? Well, I've seen pictures. I've heard the men tell stories. Why on earth would you want to be a knight? Because they are most brave and magnificent men on earth. <laughs> and how do you propose you'll achieve these virtues? Through education. Sir Hector, he's my guardian. He says the only way to get ahead is through education. He does, does he? Splendid. This is more than I'd hoped for. He says the most important thing for a boy like me to learn is chivalry, horsemanship, swordsmanship. No, 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 no. What is chivalry but a bunch of grown men boasting to each other and pounding on their chest like a herd of wild gorillas? And what's all this about saving those damsels in distress? Pity the poor ladies. Well, I think... And this horsemanship business, what is this, boy? I can sob a horse faster than any square in the county, and I can ride the best of them. And swordsmanship? That takes practice. You have to learn all the right moves. For example, but not limited to, the side sweeper. From behind, and just with your knights off his guard, what ho! You run it through. Whoa, indeed. And if you learn these things, then you will have... Bravery. Bravery. Honesty. Honesty. And fairness. Fairness. And all things. But it doesn't really matter if I learn all these things. Kai is older than me. He's the only son who can become a knight. Oh, come, come, lad. Do cheer up. Oh, I won't mind. As long as he promises to take me along in his adventures. Adventures, indeed. If I mention to you that I... I'm a teacher. You are? And I'm afraid there's one important subject that Sir has forgotten that is vital to your education. What's that? Magic. Now, now, keep it under your hat, boy, won't you? You can do magic? Well, go on then. Make yourself invisible. And I suppose you like road to pull bunnies out of a hat. You can do that? Let me see. Shall I saw Maiden in two? Oh, boy, this is great. I saw Maiden in two, indeed. <laughs> ha! This is not magic. <laughs> <coughs> this is not magic. But Merlin, if that's not magic, what is? There's a force more powerful than this. More powerful than magic? Earth, wind, fire, and water. Accept this boy which now I offer. Dusty storms and fiery ooze. Think very hard, boy, for you must choose. Arthur, the most important thing in the world is to learn. And our teachers are all around us. The real magic is in the earth. The earth? It can turn a tiny seed into a giant tree. That's magic? Learn, boy, learn. Tell me more. The real magic is in the wind. Consider the wind, boy. tiny egg will turn into a bird. That bird will learn how to fly. But how does it fly? It's impossible, but it happens. <laughs> learn, boy, learn. Earth, wind, fire, and water. These are the lessons that the elements offer. Sandy soil and great heavens of blue. Think very hard, boy. So much depends on you. Earth, wind, fire, or water. Choose. Choose me. Choose wind, choose me, choose wind, wind, wind. Choose me, the wind. Yes. Yeah, choose the wind. Yes. The wind it is, the choice is his. Such a Iron Man. Let's fly. Mar Marlin, help! 
No, no, stop that confounded flapping, boy. Watch me. Easy now. Careful with your arms. Upward, upward. Now boost yourself. Not too hard. Gentle now. Up. Ha ha. Merlin, have wings. Wings, Merlin, we're flying. So we are, son. Merlin, I can't see my feet. What happened to my feet? Well, just for the moment, your feet and in sharp little claws and are safely tucked behind you. But do not worry, lad. You will see them when you need them. Am I a bird? Oh, Merlin, am I a bird? Oh, I do hope so. Otherwise, I'm sure you'd be in for a nasty bump. Would have ever thought flying would be so easy. Ready for some fancy moves? Oh, yes. Dip and swerve, it seems absurd. Lean to the right, a boy in flight. Whoa! To and fro, steady we go, through invisible air. Everywhere, everywhere. Merlin, I can't believe it. Come, come now, there are a few things I want to show you. We happen to be sparrows, aren't we? Sparrows fly very close to the earth. It's a bit dangerous, but the view is worth it, don't you think? Oh, yes. And look, there's Shrekter's castle and the cows in the field. We're approaching the forest now. Oh, it's ready to go into the forest savage. But it's wonderful to fly above it. It's not scary at all. Oh, the dangers are very real, Arthur. For example, over that way lives a fire-breathing dragon. If she sees us, she shall surely breathe our way. Steer clear. We're coming to a clearing now. Ah, yes, this is what I wanted to show you. What do you see, Arthur? Something's flashing in the sunlight. Why is night? Look, Merlin, did you ever see anything so beautiful? Even their horses have armor. See that one over there? Oh, he's a black knight, just like the one I was pretending to be. Look at the swords, Merlin. They sparkle like diamonds. What else do you see, Arthur? Red. There's something bright red. Oh, it's so pretty. Shall we go down and get a closer look? What fun. Listen to the clanking of the swords. A book. Look, there, did you see that? That black knight doesn't seem to be fighting for it at all. He seems to be very strong. Yes, but if he isn't careful, he may hurt the white one. Oh, Merlin, look. What do you see, Arthur? Blood. That's what the red is. It's, it's blood. Yes, Arthur. Yes, it is. You see, this is not just a joust or a tournament. This is war. These men are fighting to prove their right to be king. They believe they can kill enough men to prove their strength. How long will it take? Well, they've been fighting for a very long time, Arthur. Blood has been spilled throughout the land. England needs her king. Oh, nice. Let's fly. Look out, Merlin. Look out. It's a hawk. A hawk. Fly, boy, fly. Over there, Arthur, quick, in that fir tree. Ah. Ow. Ow. Easy, Ow. easy, careful of the needles, boy. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough time to teach her how to land properly. Ow. Hush, Ow. hush now, Arthur. You seem to have lost her. Merlin, I've never been so frightened all my life. She was so big. Ah, uh, you see, this is the lesson I'd hoped to teach you all. Compared to a sparrow, a hawk is very big and strong. Now, this is the way of the world, Arthur, the strong prey upon the weak. Oh, Merlin, look. Get his attention, you silly bird. He's got a bow and arrow with him. Oh, no, 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 Kai, it's me. Now don't shoot. Merlin, what do we do? Fly, boy, fly. Quit fighting under the tree. Now, what were the words, Arthur? What were the words? Merlin. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Can't you hear and do what you want? Shivery, beastly, ghastly air. Make us pair on the ground down there. What, what, what happened? Kai, you won't believe it. You just won't believe it. Where are the sparrows? That's just it, Kai. You won't believe it. Who is he? Kai, this is Merlin. He's a magician. He is a wonderful, wonderful magician. Tell him, Merlin. How do you do? See? He's a magician. He makes the wind blow like this. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. But isn't that amazing? <laughs> amazing. There were these knights, and they were fighting, but it wasn't a fair fight. And England had all this blood all over it. I got these needles stuck in me, and there was a hawk. Truly amazing. Show off your magic, Merlin. Show them how you do it. See, if you do that, the wind blows and you become a bird. Arthur, I believe you've gone and lost your weary little mind. What little mind you had, anyways. But it's true. Show him, Merlin. 
So let's see the magic, old man. I suppose you'd like to see me pull a bunny out of a hat. Oh yes, sir. Saw a maiden in two. <laughs> Some magician. But Kai, that's not the real magic. The real magic is in the earth, the wind. <coughs> no, it carried us away. Are you trying to tell me you flew? Yes, Kai, yes. That's ridiculous. Knock it off, Arthur. Or I'll tell Sir Ector you've been lying. But I'm not lying. Well, I'm older than you, and I say you're lying. Remember the hawk, Arthur? But it's not fair. A strong prey upon the weak. But it's not fair. Well, I'll leave you two to play your silly games. So long, my fine feathered friends. Tweet, tweet. He doesn't care what the truth is. All he cares about how old he is. He's a bully. Might makes right. What? Kai believes that might makes right. Is that what you believe? All I know is you made me look like a liar. Why can't you turn me into a bird so he would believe me? Earth, wind, fire, and rain. I'll tell you again and I'll make it plain. There is a force much stronger than us. There's still much to learn, Arthur. Much to discuss. But why do I have to learn all this? You should be making Kai do all this flying and stuff. After all, he's the one that's going to be the knight. He is the one going to the tournament. Ah, yes, the tournament I've almost forgotten. We're running out of time, boy. Almost out of time. Running out of time? Running out of time for what? Don't you think you might be up for just one more adventure for the day? Well, I sure don't make you late for anything. There's the spirit, lad. You have three choices left. Earth, fire, and water. Well, <coughs> after what we just went through, I surely don't want to get involved with any fire. And Earth, Earth is just a lot of dirt after all, isn't it? Shoes. Water. I choose water. Splendid. <coughs> Consider the true magic of water. First, it rains. The stream flows into a river. The river flows into an ocean. <coughs> and crashes on the shore. Then the sun comes out and draws all the water to the sky until a big cloud is formed. Then down pours the rain. Which flows into a stream, which flows into a moat. And in this case, that moat happens to be the moat of Sir Ector's castle. Let's visit that old moat, shall we? <coughs> moat! 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 Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Hold your nose. Now jump, boy, jump. <coughs> Easy, Arthur. Wait for me. Don't float away. <coughs> Set yourself straight, Arthur. Wait for me. Mark, Mark, Lynn. What was that? <coughs> oh, you must be slower, child. Fish talk is slower than human talk. You know, try again. I can't breathe. <coughs> Annunciation, Arthur. It sounded like you said glug, glug, glug. <laughs> For heaven's sake, breathe through your ears. The ears, old boy, the ears. Don't you know a blasted thing? Stop breathing through your nose and breathe through your ears. <gasps> my, my ears? Marlin, I'm breathing through my ears. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come along. The world is full of invisible lines, Arthur. Do you know the borders of Sir Ector's castle? Of course. Everyone knows what is Sir Ector's uh, property. It's two miles wide and one mile deep, and there's a big stone fence all around. But I bet you never guessed that there are kingdoms upon kingdoms within Sir Ector's kingdom. What do you mean? Why, right here inside the smoke, for example. Everything on that side of the line belongs to the King Fish. He's a pike named Spike. Oh. But there's freedom on this side. Freedom, boy, such a beautiful word. Oh, Marlon, look, it's Kai, and he's a fish, too. Oh, no, he must have been swimming when we conjured the water magic. 
Sometimes things get a bit jumbled. Close your nose and open your ears. Breathe through your ears, Kai. <gasps> oh, oh, is that you? What's going on? Kai, it's the real magic. Merlin did it. He turned us into fish. <laughs> what kind of fish are we, Merlin? <laughs> Arf. We're carp. <laughs> Kai, is that wonderful? Wonderful, wonderful. I don't want anything to do with it. I want you to turn me back into a boy this minute. Did you hear me? Merlin, you better turn him back. Hmm. Merlin. He hasn't said please. I'm not saying please to you, old man. Forget it. Just forget it. I'll get out of this blasting mode myself. Oh, not over there, Kai. It's dangerous to cross that line. Over there is Spike's kingdom. Spike's kingdom? Yes, she's a pipe named Spike and she owns that part of the moat. Oh, but that's ridiculous. Sir Ector owns this moat. Marlin, tell him what you told me. Marlin? Marlin? Well, I'll leave you to your silly magic tricks. I'm getting out of here. Marlin! <coughs> Marlin! Be brave, Arthur. Brave. Come, come back. We eat the little fishies. We eat the... No! We sniff them. We nibble them. We gobble them up. <sighs> hey, this isn't fair. You can pound your line. Oh, no, fishy. Oh, I used to be over there. But now I've been eating up all the little fishies, and our lines are now over there. Marlin, can she do that? Marlin, she's moving the lines. Spiky is very powerful, fishy. See my tooths, my sharp toothies? I stick them in the fishies. Kai, come back. I smell the little fishies. Onesies, twosies, we eat some up. Also, I can't get over this blasted moat. Yep, yep. Oh, don't move, Kai. You're in Spike's kingdom, and she moved the line, so I'm in her kingdom, too. Oh, Arthur, what will I do? Good pike, nice little pike. Little pike! <gasps> it's King Pike Spot! And you're a sucker. Merlin! Merlin, help! Merlin? What's a Merlin? What's it? What's it? A Merlin's a friend of mine. He's a big, fat fish. A juicy fishy? Very juicy. Where is it? Where is it? It's just over there. We eat the little fishies. We eat some up. Come this way, Kai, quick. Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> A fishy trick? A fishy trick? <laughs> we eat the little fishies. We eat some up. How are your Spike? I'll be your supper. We snap some and we bite some. Swim, Kai, swim. Whoa. A fishy trick? A fishy trick? <gasps> I'll be back. Coming, little fishies. Stay. <coughs> Stay. <coughs> well, Marlin, did you see what happened? Did you see? Fry tried to eat us for her supper. She was terrible. How did a mean fish like that ever get to be king? It's simple. Spike is bigger than the other fish, so she rules them. But she doesn't rule the other fish, she feeds them. Exactly. She believes that might makes right. Instead of might for right. You're coming along, boy, coming along. Uh, were you really going to let Spike have you for her supper? Of course not. I know I can swim faster than you. I, I mean, since I thought Merlin taught me about swimming, he did teach you. I, I know you can swim faster than the author. Just like you can ride faster or fight better or do just about anything better than I can. Uh, Kai! It's true. You should be the knight, not I. Oh, everything is also backwards. No, it isn't, Kai. You're the oldest. You can't change that. And you're Structure's proper son. In that practice, you like a wonderful knight. I know it. Arthur? Yes? Thank you. Kai is older than you. He's had more training than you. But it was your strength that saved him. Why do you think that is, Arthur? I, I don't know. I was in trouble and he needed me. That's all I know. You have a good heart, Arthur. There now. It's enough learning for one day. Yes, Shark, you'll begin to wonder where I am. Thank you, Merlin. It was all so exciting. Consider your lessons, boy. We shall pick them up another day. I will, Merlin. Wait up, Kai. Wait. Ray. Fire. 
and sad. He holds my country in the palm of his hand. Earth, wind, rain, and fire, it all depends on this gentle squad. One, two, three, four, someone's knocking on the door. Five, six, seven, eight, someone's coming through the gate. Eight, nine, ten, and higher, someone's caught the house on fire. Hey, who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. What are you doing here? I'm playing hopscotch. What are you doing here? I was just on my way to the stables. None of the servants are allowed in your courtyard. You'll get in trouble. So I suppose I should run up to the kitchen to peel potatoes or boil the meat. I think that's a good idea. I don't take orders from little stable boys or anyone else. I'm not a stable boy. I'm Arthur. Are you a prince? Well, not exactly. Are you a princess? Bow when you speak to me. My name is Princess Guinevere of Camelot. My father's King Leo de Grant. You may kiss my hand. My entourage arrived late last night, and I am the guest of honor in this castle. Oh, well, thank you. I am here so that my father can talk to your father, and we will arrange for Sir Kay to have my hand in marriage. Sir Kai. You're sure? Very sure. <laughs> I'm supposed to marry Sir Kay Kai on the 13th of June, and my father will give your father a great big round table for my dowry, and then everything will just be wonderful. You don't sound too sure about that wonderful part. Well, I am. Everything will be wonderful, and I am very, very, very happy. Oh, don't cry. Oh, wait till Kai hears about this. He's much younger married, and so are you. I'm 11 years old. <laughs> well, I'm only 12, but I'm still much younger married. I still have to finish my education. Besides, have you ever met Kai? No, but I hear he's going to be a great knight, and that means that he's brave, honest, and fair. <laughs> Pickle boy. Merlin, what am I going to do? The Princess Guinevere spills Fairy Kai on the 13th of June. What's worse, she wants to marry me instead. Consider the magic of fire, Arthur. Didn't you hear what I just said? I don't have time for lessons right now. I have to help Kai out of this. There are many kinds of fire. But, Merlin... There's the type of fire when two swords meet. Did you see it, Arthur? Yes, yes I did. There's also the type of fire inside the heart of a young man. The burning desire to be a knight. To be the best. To be brave, honest, and fair. And there's the type of fire in the eyes of a young man who is falling in love. <laughs> love is a powerful force, Arthur. What is the true <coughs> magic of fire? The power of the soul, the power of the mind, the power of the heart. The, the power, power of the, the sword, sword, the power of the mind, the power of the heart. Everyone. The power of the sword, the power of the mind, the power of the heart. And what sound does the fire make? The fire? It roars. A terrible, trembling, magnificent roar. Here. What sound does the fire make? Roar! Roar! roar. roar. This is no farce for. This is no game. Good 
You've all learned the true magic of fire. Can you remember the true magic of the wind? And the true magic of the rain. And the sound of the fire. together and help Arthur defeat the dragon. that I've showed you before. There's a thing called man, Arthur. He cannot make rain, he cannot breathe fire, but man can make the greatest sadness on earth. I've taught you all I can, Arthur. Soon you will be on your own. Beware of man, my boy. Beware. The greatest sadness on earth. Oh, Kai, what is it? Uh, a messenger has arrived. What's his news? There's a great battle <coughs> just beyond Structure Stone Wall. Uh, the order has come now. I, I must go. I, I must fight. Oh, don't be frightened, Kai. I'll be right beside you all the way. <laughs> frightened? Uh, who's frightened around here? Uh, you're the child. I, I am older. I, I am a knight. I know you are, Kai. I know you are. Saddle my feet, Squire. Uh, we have work to do. Oh my god, Arthur, look! Just as Merlin told me! They're not fighting fair at all! The country's at war, Kai! They're not following the rules. There's blood. Merlin says that England needs her king. Blood. Oh, Arthur, if I go out there, they'll kill me. I, I know they will. Merlin! Merlin, you didn't teach me about this! Merlin, if Kai goes to battle, he could yep. be- Shut up, squire! <laughs> what? I said, shut up! Squire. Yes, sir. Gloves, squire. Yes, sir. Shield, squire. Yes, sir. Helmet. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you laughing about, squire? Uh, nothing, Kai. I'm sorry, I really am. Sword. Yes, sir, it's right. Um, it's it's right. Um For heaven's sake, Arthur, give me the sword. I I don't have it. I must have forgotten it. You forgot my sword? You imbecile. You're the squire, that's your job. Oh, I'm sorry, Kai. Fool. Okay, I've forgotten. Now you listen here, child. I'm gonna go out to battle and list my neck for England, and I need a sword to do it. You go get me that sword and you do it quick. Yes, sir. Go! Kai! Go! Marlin! Marlin, you took my sword! I mean, Kai's sword! You took it when I slayed the dragon! There are no more dragons, Arthur. But, Marlin! You didn't worry of the big pop for the king fish, and all the fire-breathing dragons have gone away. But, Marlin, Kai is waiting for me just beyond the stone wall. If I don't get him a sword soon, he could be killed! Earth, wind, rain, and fire. All depends on you, gentle squire. A sword! Oh, thank you, Merlin! Consider your lessons, son. Learn, boy, learn. Wings! wings. I have wings, Merlin! Wings! What, what do, do you, you see, see Arthur? Arthur? Why, it's night! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Remember, Remember the, the hawk, hawk, boy! But it's not fair! Water. Water! Watch out for Spike, Kai! We eat the little fishies! We eat some of them! Be brave, Arthur! Brave! We snap some and we bite some! But she doesn't rule the other fish, she eats them! Might, Might for right, right, Arthur! Might for right! Might for right! Now, what were the words? 
boy. The power of the sword, the power of the mind, the power of the heart. I've taught you all I can, Arthur. Consider the rain, Arthur. Consider the wind. Consider the fire. Hello? Sarah. Sarah. I can't talk right now. Sorry. <laughs> Arthur, for heaven's sake, hurry up. Their forces are advancing. They're forcing a retreat. That's not my sword. Oh, I know. I was pulled it from the stone. Here. Uh, Arthur, did you pull the sword from the stone? I'm sorry I forgot, Doris Kai. Uh, but this will do, don't you think? Uh, whoever pulls the sword from the stone is the rightful king of England. Uh, Arthur. Why are you looking at me like that, Kai? Marlin? Uh, I heard about this when I was just a boy. Uh, everyone tried, but none could pull the sword from the stone. I guess everyone just forgot about it. This is a trick. Oh, I see it now. This is more of your blasting magic. Yet again, Kai, you failed to see the true magic. I don't believe he did it. I don't believe he pulled it out. I want to see him do it. Very well, Kai. Put the sword <laughs> back into the stone. It's a blasted stone. You can't get a sword into a stone. It's impossible. Arthur? <laughs> now free the sword from the stone of the earth, and if you have learned your lessons well, you shall be king. Wind, rain, fire. Hello! Sarah! Sarah! I cannot talk! Sorry! Continue! <laughs> My lord. Oh, Kai, why are you kneeling like that? Forgive me, your majesty. Forgive you? Of course I forgive you. But for what? Oh, Marlin, what are you doing? I am honoring my king. I take this sword and go back into battle. There is no battle anymore, your honor. England has her king. Yes, Arthur. Yes, it is you. You shall be the greatest king to ever rule England. I, I will? Remember my lessons, boy. I will, Merlin. I promise. Now, my work here is done. And I must leave. No, Merlin, why? Your education is complete. No, Merlin. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> and the boy grew into a man. He enjoyed many victories and suffered many defeats. My lord. In time, he shall take a wife. Guinevere. She shall be queen. Guinevere, on the 13th of June, my father has brought you his round table. Don't forget, Arthur. Might for right. Might for right. But Merlin, what if I don't do things right? What if I flop my wings too hard or forget to breathe through my ears? Then you shall be a man, my boy. Nothing more, nothing less. Simply follow the goodness in your heart, Arthur. Follow the goodness in your heart. Merlin? Merlin! Thank you, Merlin! And so ends my story. <laughs>